Hello and welcome dear students. Today we are going to discuss about the topic mutations. The main objectives of today's lecture are to know the basics of mutation, to know the history of mutations, to know the different types of mutations, to know different types of mutagens which cause the mutations, to understand the molecular basis of gene mutations, to understand the role of mutation in organisms. Dear students, let us first start with the introduction to mutation. A mutation is a change or alteration happening in a DNA molecule, gene or chromosome due to intrinsic or extrinsic factors such as an error in replication or exposure to UV light respectively. Change in the nucleotide sequence of the DNA is called a mutation. The mutation is an important biological process in nature. It can be helpful or harmful. For instance, the mutation creates variations in nature by providing new alleles in nature and hence helps in evolution. The word mutation is similar to the French word mutation which literally means process of changing. Although the mutation word was originally derived from the Latin word mutare, the meaning of this is to change. So mutations range in size that can affect anywhere from a single DNA building block that's a base pair to a large segment of a chromosome that includes multiple genes. Dear students, let us first talk about the history of mutation. The term mutation was coined by Hugo de Vries in 1890. However, before him, Seth will write, an English farmer noticed mutation first time in his unusual short leg male lamps during 1791. After the finding of the Hugo de Vries, the mechanism of mutation was studied by Morgan in 1910. In 1927, H.J. Muller performed experiments of artificial mutagenesis. Using the X-rays, he had introduced mutation in Drosophila. For that, he was awarded Nobel Prize in 1946. Dear students, let us now understand the terminology related to mutations. First, the muton, the smallest unit of gene capable of undergoing a change or mutation and it is represented by a nucleotide. Mutator gene, a gene which causes another gene or genes to undergo spontaneous mutation is called mutator gene. Let us now discuss the mutagen. Mutagen is a physical, chemical or biological agent which induces mutation. Now the mutant. A mutant is an organism or a new genetic character arising or resulting from an instance of mutation. Hotspots. Highly mutable sites within a gene are called as hotspots. The process of mutagenesis. Mutagenesis is a process by which the genetic information of an organism is changed resulting in a mutation. Dear students, let us talk about the general characteristics of mutation. Mutations are generally recessive but dominant mutations also occur. Mutations are generally harmful to the organism. Mutations are random and occur at any time and in any cell of an organism. If gene mutations are not lethal, the mutant individual may survive. So mutations are recurrent, same mutation may occur again and again. Induced mutation commonly show pleiotropy, often due to mutations in closely linked genes. Dear students, let us now talk about the frequency of mutation. The frequency with which a given mutation is seen in a population is called as mutation frequency. For example, the mutation that causes cystic fibrosis provides only a rough approximation of mutation, the rate at which fresh mutation occurs because of historical factors 
at work such as natural selection, positive or negative, drift and founder effect. In addition, most methods for counting mutations require that the mutation have a visible effect on the phenotype. So spontaneous mutation occur at a very low frequency. Single DNA based changes that arise spontaneously in children can lead to genetic disorders such as mental retardation. However, the mutation rate can be enhanced manifold by the use of physical and chemical mutagens. Frequency of mutation is calculated by the formula m divided by m plus n where m is the number of individuals expressing mutation for a gene and n is the number of normal individuals in a population. Dear students, let's now talk about the role of mutation in organisms. Some mutations have a positive effect on the organism in which they occur. They are called beneficial mutations. They lead to new version of proteins that help organisms adapt to change in their environment. So beneficial mutations are essential for evolution to occur. Mutation is ultimate source of genetic variation and it provides raw material for evolution to act. The classic example of evolutionary change in humans is the hemoglobin mutation named HBS that makes red blood cells take on a curved sickle cell shape. With one copy, it confers resistance to malaria, but with two copies, it causes the illness of sickle cell anemia. Mutations result in the formation of new alleles. Dear students, let's now talk about the molecular basis of gene mutation. A gene mutation is a permanent alteration or change in the DNA sequence that makes up a gene. So gene mutations can arise spontaneously or they can be induced. Spontaneous mutations are naturally occurring mutations and arise in all cells. Induced mutations on the other hand are produced when an organism is exposed to a mutagenic agent or mutagen. Such mutations typically occur at much higher frequencies than the spontaneous mutations do. DNA replication is a highly accurate process but mistakes can occasionally occur as when a DNA polymerase inserts a wrong base into the growing DNA chain. So uncorrected mistakes may sometimes lead to serious consequences such as cancer. Complementary base pairing reduces errors and prevents errors in DNA replication. The error in DNA replication is so rare because of proofreading activity which maintains the fidelity of DNA replication. Dear students, let's now discuss in detail about the types of mutation. Dear students, mutation is a process that produces a gene or chromosome that differs from the wild type. The mutation may result due to change either on the gene or the chromosome itself. Thus, Broadly, mutations may be gene or chromosome mutations. Let's first the gene mutations. The mutations that occur in the sequence of a gene that change the function of a gene is called as gene mutation. On the other hand, the chromosomal mutation where segments of chromosomes, whole chromosomes or entire sets of chromosomes change, they are called as chromosome mutations. Dear students, there are various schemes for classification of different kinds of mutations. So depending upon the type of the cell involved, there can be mutations like somatic mutations. So somatic mutations are in the somatic tissues of the body. These mutations are not transmitted to the progeny or to the offsprings. The extent of the phenotypic effect depends upon whether the mutation is dominant or recessive. Dominant mutations generally have a greater effect. The extent of the phenotypic effect depends upon whether it occurs early or late in the development. That is, early arising mutations have a greater effect. Dear students, let's now talk about the germline mutations. So these mutations that are in the germ tissues of the body are called germline mutations. 
So these mutations may be transmitted to the progeny or the offsprings. So dominant mutations are seen in first generation after the mutation occurs. If a female gamete containing an X-linked mutation is fertilized, the males will show the mutant phenotype. Recessive mutations will only be seen upon the chance mating with an individual carrying the recessive allele too. Thus, the recessive mutation may remain hidden for many generations. Dear students, let's now discuss about mutations based on the mood of origin. Let's first talk about the spontaneous mutation. The spontaneous mutation occurs suddenly in the nature and their origin is unknown. It arises due to metabolic errors, replication errors, or due to developmental errors. Larger genes are more prone to spontaneous mutation because the chance of replication error is higher in larger genes. They are also called background mutation and have been reported in many organisms such as maize, bread molds, microorganisms like bacteria and viruses, drosophila, men and mice. Dear students, let's now talk about the induced mutations. Besides naturally occurring spontaneous mutations, the mutations can be induced artificially in the living organisms by exposing them to abnormal environment such as radiation, certain physical conditions, that is the temperature and chemicals. Dear students, let's now discuss about mutations based on the direction of mutation. Let's first discuss about the forward mutation. In an organism, when mutation create a change from wild type to abnormal type, then that type of mutation are known as forward mutation. The forward mutation lead to the evolution of new traits in a population. Most mutations are forward mutations in nature. Dear students, let's now talk about the reverse or backward mutations. A mutation is a unidirectional process, but sometimes some mutation gives original, that is wild type allele, back to the population. Such mutation is called the backward mutation. In other words, it gives original phenotype back into the population by true back mutation or by the occurrence of a secondary mutation. Backward mutations are very rare in nature. Dear students, let's now discuss about mutations based on the size and quality. According to the size, two types of mutations have been recognized. The first type is point mutation. When heritable alterations occur in very small segment of DNA molecule that is a single nucleotide or nucleotide pair, then this type of mutation are called the point mutations. The point mutations may occur due to different types of subnucleotide chains in the DNA and RNA. Dear students, let's talk about deletion mutations. The point mutation which is caused due to loss or deletion of some portion that is a single nucleotide base pair in a triplet codon of a cystrone or gene is called deletion mutation. Simply, a base, nitrogenous base, is deleted from the DNA. Dear students, let's now move on with the insertion or addition mutations. Here, simply, a base is inserted or added into the DNA frame. The point mutation which occurs due to addition of one or more extra nucleotides to a gene or cystrone are called the insertion mutations. The addition of even a single nucleotide will change the entire reading frame and a triplet codon message using which a protein is tailored. Dear students, let's now discuss about the substitution mutation. Substitution mutation occurs when other nucleotides, one or more, replace the nucleotide of a gene. Sometimes substitution may add a new codon to the gene. Dear students, let's now discuss the inversion. The moment of a gene within the same chromosome is called inversion. Inversions are a special type of mutation in which a piece of chromosomal DNA is flipped 180 degrees. 
for an inversion to occur, two breaks occur in a chromosome, the region between the breaks gets inverted and the ends of the region get rejoined to the rest of the chromosome. A well-known example of an inversion mutation in humans is disease hemophilia, a disease that inhibits the ability of blood to clot. Dear students, let us now discuss about the silent mutation. In silent mutation, a new codon codes for the same amino acid as the wild type 1. It is a type of non-expressive one that does not have any significant effect on the phenotype of the organism. Dear students, let us discuss now the missense mutation, a base change that converts one codon into another codon is called a base sense mutation. A codon originated from a nucleotide change that will code for different amino acids. Many missense mutations are silent because the encoded amino acid remains the same or the amino acid substitution is sufficiently subtle so as not to compromise activity of the enzyme. Missense mutations that have a marked effect often lie in the active site or grossly disrupt protein folding. It can lead to the alteration or loss of function in a protein. Dear students, let us know about the nonsense mutations. A base change that converts a codon within the coding sequence into a stop codon which will stop the protein synthesis or terminate the protein synthesis. Note that there is only a limited set of sense codons that can be converted to a stop codon by a single base change. So nonsense mutations lead to a premature protein or a truncated protein product nonsense mutations that lie early in the gene sequence will completely inactivate the gene. Sometimes nonsense mutations that lie late in the gene sequence will not disrupt gene function. Dear students, let us now talk about the frame shift mutation. The addition or deletion of a base such that the coding sequence is shifted out of register is called a frame shift mutation or simply we change the further reading frame of the gene, they are called frame shift mutations. Base pair alteration causes abnormal reading frame which ultimately results in an abnormal protein formation. A specific reading frame has a start codon and a stop codon. In between both codons, a definite coding sequence is present. In a frame shift mutation, alteration in DNA leads to shifting of these reading frames from one place to another in a genome. So the position of start or stop codon changes. So like nonsense mutation, frame shift mutations usually lead to complete inactivation of that particular gene in which the frame shift mutation occurs. Dear students, let us now understand about mutations based on the phenotypic effects. Let us talk about morphological mutations. These are the mutations that affect the outwardly visible properties of an organism. For example, curly ears in cats as is shown in the figure. The other type is the lethal mutations, a mutation that causes death of an organism or affects the survival of an organism is called a lethal mutation. These are mutations that affect the viability or survival of the organisms. For example, the Menex cat. Dear students, let us now discuss about the conditional mutations. These are the mutations in which the mutant allele causes the mutant phenotype only in certain environments called the restrictive conditions. In the permissive condition, the phenotype is no longer mutant. For example, Siamese cat, here the mutant allele causes albino phenotype at the restrictive temperature of most of the cat body, but not all the permissive temperature in the extremities where the body temperature is lower. Conditional mutation is very important in genetic studies. The characteristics of an allele can be studied and how it behaves in different adverse conditions can also be studied by the same.
dear students let's now discuss about mutations based on the magnitude of phenotypic effect according to the phenotypic effect three types of mutations may occur the first type is dominant mutations these are mutations which have dominant phenotypic expression for example in men the mutation in disease and iridia that is absence of iris of the eyes occurs due to a dominant mutant gene another type of mutation based on the magnitude of the phenotypic effect is recessive mutations most types of mutations are recessive in nature and so they are not expressed phenotypically immediately the phenotypic effects of mutations of a recessive gene is seen only after one or more generations when the mutant gene is able to recombine with another similar recessive gene dear students let's now talk about the agents of mutations the substances or agents which induce artificial mutations are called mutagens or mutagenic agents so mutagens may be of physical chemical or biological origin that may act directly on the dna causing direct damage to the dna and most often result in replication error some however may act on the replication mechanism itself and chromosomal partition also the mutagenic agents are of the following kinds one the radiation and radioactive decays or ionizing radiations such as x rays gamma rays and alpha particles cause dna breakage and other damage the most common lab source include cobalt 60 and cesium 137 ionizing radiations cause breaks in poly sugar phosphate backbone of dna and thus causing chromosomal mutations such as break deletion addition inversion and translocation in the dna ultraviolet radiations with wavelength above 260 nanometers are absorbed strongly by bases producing a pyrimidine dimers which can cause error in replication if left uncorrected radioactive decay such as carbon 14 in dna which decays into nitrogen the temperature is another factor the rate of all chemical reactions are influenced by temperature it is reported that the rate of mutation is increased due to an increase in temperature for example an increase of 10 degree centigrade temperature increases the mutation rate 2 to 3 fold so temperature probably affects both thermal stability of dna and the rate of reaction of other substances with dna dear students let's now discuss about the chemical agents many chemical substances have been responsible to increase the mutability of genes any chemical substance that affects the chemical environment of chromosomes is likely to influence at least indirectly the stability of dna and its ability to replicate without error some of the known chemical mutagens include these may be superoxide hydroxyl radicals and hydrogen peroxide and large number of these highly reactive species which are generated by normal cellular processes such as nitrous acid which can cause transition mutation by converting cytosine to uracil are an important group of mutagens found in tobacco and may also be formed in smoked meats and fish via the interaction of amines in food with nitrite added as preservatives other include mustard gas and vinyl chloride from plants such as those from vinica species may be converted by metabolic processes into an active mutagen or carcinogen dna that undergoes autonomous fragment relocation or multiplication its insertion into chromosomal dna disrupts functional elements of the genes virus dna may be inserted into the genome which disrupts genetic functions infection agents have been suggested to cause cancer as early as 1900 by willem illman and by pethes ross 
who discovered the Rose sarcoma virus. Some bacteria such as Helicobacter pyroli causes inflammation during which oxidative species are produced causing DNA damage and reducing efficiency of DNA repair systems thereby increasing mutation. Dear students, let's summarize the lecture by knowing the significance of mutations in organisms. The mutations alter the genetic message carried by a gene. It results in the development of a new characteristic or character or trait that are capable of being inherited to the next generations. Mutations are essential for evolution to occur because they increase genetic variation and the potential for individuals to differ. That means mutations serve as a raw material for the evolution to act. The majority of mutations are neutral in their effects on the organisms in which they occur. Harmful mutations on the other hand can result in errors in protein sequence creating partially or completely non-functional proteins. Mutations are the basis for cancer and other genetic diseases like hemophilia and cystic fibrosis. Gene mutations serve as the source for most alleles in a population and is therefore the origin of genetic variation within a population. So mutations in a few animals help them survive better. In the fittest survival or survival of the fittest, the organisms that undergo mutations become strong. Few mutations help humans to escape the risk of being diseased. The mutation in animals help change their color and hide from their predators. Dear students, it was all about today's lecture regarding mutation and their types. Hope you have understood it well. See you next time with a new topic. Till then, take care. Goodbye.